Hi, in this video, I'm going to be using the Dell 7740 laptop together with the WD19 dock. And I'm going to demonstrate that I have four 4K monitors running concurrently. Right, this is the specification sheet for the dock. And on the sheet, you can see it says that it can do two 4K monitors at 60 hertz refresh rate so i have two 4k monitors connected but i also have two 4k monitors connected to the laptop itself now having a look at the connectivity of the laptop on the side of the laptop you will have your mini display port and this is 1.4 DisplayPort 1.4 can definitely cater for a 4k 60 hertz monitor and then next to that port is an hdmi port you can see that it is 2.0 2.0 can also display 4k at 60 hertz now this particular laptop was installed with the amd wx 7100 graphics card yours might be the nvidia or maybe you're just using the native intel graphics card but nevertheless i'm using the amd and you can see that the graphics card itself can provide four 4K monitors. Keeping in mind, this is not true 4K, 3840 by 2160, but nevertheless, um, most monitors, when they say they're 4K, they use this resolution. Okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate it. I'm also gonna show you some of the challenges if you want to change the color depth, as well as whether you're going to run the Pixel 444 or 420 or 422. Right, let's have a look at the monitors. Okay, I have three of the same LG UL500 monitors. These are 4K 60Hz 10-bit uh, depth. This one over here on the top, this is a Dell. It's an older monitor, but it is also 4K 60Hz, but it's only 8-bit color depth. Right, the connections I've used are as follows. On the dock, you have a display port, a display port, an HDMI, and a dual personality USB-C. So if you use the dual personality USB-C, you won't be able to use the HDMI. So you can use either one of these. So you're not going to be able to get four monitors just from the dock. Actually, to get the 4K 60 hertz, you're actually limited to just two monitors. So there we go. There's the two monitors. Then here at the back of the laptop, there's my HDMI cable, 2.0 cable, and there is my mini display port. I'm just using a converter mini display port to a normal display port. So there are my other two 4K monitors. Right, so there you can see the monitors. If I identify them, you can see that they are extended monitors. They are not just duplicated monitors. If I move the settings across the monitors, you can see that they are all independent monitors. Right, now can you get 4K 60 hertz from four monitors connected to this laptop using the dock as well? Right, just to orientate you, it's 2413. So when I'm reading out monitor 2, that is my Dell monitor. When I'm reading out 413, these are all the same monitors, all LGs, all 4K, 60 frames, 10-bit monitors. Although they're not running at 10-bit color depth because there is a limitation on the dock. And Right, so looking at that, monitor number 1, there you can see 4K, 60 hertz, 8-bit. Monitor 2, same spec. Monitor 3, same spec. Monitor 4, same spec. So to answer the question, if you can get four 4K monitors running at 60 hertz, the answer is yes. But just look at the bit depth here. Right, so using the AMD Radian settings, you can change the color depth and then you can also change the pixel format. So at the moment, all the monitors are set to 444. Now, if I want to have one of the monitors with a higher bit depth, so say for example, this LG, this LG can handle 10 bits. If I change this to 10 bit, what has happened to my specifications on the other monitors? Right, monitor one remains the same. Monitor two remains the same. Monitor three, now you can see there it's at 10 bit. So I've managed to squeeze out 10 bit on that monitor. Monitor 4 still remains the same. So one of the monitors is now 10-bit. Can I get two monitors running at 10-bit? Now, just for accuracy's sake, the monitor that is now running at 10-bit is connected directly to the laptop via that mini display port. If I put this back to 8-bit 
and I change one of the monitors that are connected to the dock to 10 bit. I want to see if the dock is offering a limitation. So this monitor here is connected to the dock and if I change this to 10 bit, right, so look at my display number one. Immediately it's dropped down to 30 hertz. Look at display number two, it's fine. Display number three is fine, but display number four is fine. But display number one, you can see it's got the 10 bits, but it's now 30 hertz. If I try and make it 60, there's no bandwidth available. However, when I change the color bit depth on the monitor, that was connected directly to the laptop, I never had that limitation. So we're already seeing a limitation imposed here on this dock. So that means that if you do have the dock laptop combo and you want the maximum specifications available, try to put your best monitor connected directly to the laptop itself using the mini display port. So if I put this back to eight and now I go back to monitor one, and I put this back to 10. Remember, monitor one is connected via the mini display port at the laptop itself. I'm just going to show you again here. So, right, just so there's no confusion, display one here is display three here. So, one is three, two is one. So, these aren't mapped correctly here. So, when I'm saying display three, display four, I know, I know it might be a bit confusing. What you need to know here is that. When I make it 10 bit, the, the monitor that's connected to the laptop, I don't have a problem. So for example, if I go through these, you can see there 60 hertz, 8 bit, the Dell 60 hertz, 8 bit, there's my 10 bit, still at 60 hertz, and there's my other monitor also at 60 hertz. So I'm not limited here. Now, unfortunately, the laptop's other port is HDMI. Now, HDMI 2 does support 10-bit, but unfortunately, when I try to get the 10-bit, it doesn't provide it. Right, so this is the HDMI monitor connected directly to the laptop, and you can see that 10-bit isn't available. But if I change the pixel format to 422, now I have 10-bit available, even 12-bit. So you might need to play around with your pixel format or decide what's more important to you. Right, so there I'm getting the 10 bit, but now my pixel format has changed to 422. Now the next question might be, well, you've got these four 4K monitors. Can you use them? Can you play a 4K video on them while four of them are connected? Well, what you're watching are two 4K 50 frames per second videos that are recorded at 100 megabits per second. So a medium bit rate, and for the most part they play fine. There is a little bit of jitter here and there if you are doing other activities on the computer. I've noticed that it plays better when it's connected directly to the laptop rather than via the dock. It, you may think you're seeing jitter, but you're not. It's just the edit of this particular video that I'm showing you. All right, so there you go. You've got four 4K monitors connected with the Dell dock and laptop together. What do I think about this? Well, I use these monitors, and if I had to recommend a setup, I wouldn't recommend this dock. For me, the dock comes with many side effects. Firstly, it takes long to boot and show the monitors. Often there's issues and the monitors swap over. I don't know if that's software to do with AMD's graphics card, but the booting up is very slow. I've played with the BIOS, the dock, every now and then I have to unplug it, plug it in. So overall, I don't actually like this dock, but anyway, you see in the four 4K monitors, so I was able to achieve that, but you won't get all of them at 10 bit. Thanks for watching and cheers.